The Joys of Winter and Illiquidity. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Day Update. It is Wednesday, December 23rd, and today's update is brought to you by the CTG Group, one of our preferred brokers. I do have other brokers, but CTG is our futures and commodities broker that handles all of our election, uh, letter of direction trading. They're, they're the only ones authorized to do so. And, of course, they've got some great managed futures products, which I urge you to check out. I do have a special link if you'd like to get some information, but I will certainly put you in touch with the right people over there. In the meantime, markets are higher. They were lower. They're higher. They're not sure. I don't know. Today, the NASDAQ's a little bit weak and everything else is strong. Uh, NASDAQ actually plummeted for about 10 minutes and is now getting close to that unchanged level, maybe getting higher. But overall, it is high. It's good. The markets are generally higher. Going to test the new highs once again, it looks like. It's just a market that wants to go higher. And that's what's a good thing. We're long. We like it that way. Uh, in the meantime, the metals were higher. Then they got creamed. And now they're flying higher once again. So that shows you exactly. And, and one of the things is that the power of the algorithm is there, the markets still trade. So what, what the difference is, is when you're long, you're looking for support for rallies. You, you expect pullbacks. Remember, always be prepared. Don't get caught unguarded. You know, it's better to be prepared than surprised. Uh, crude is exploding right now after a couple of down days. Uh, the EIA just came out. But again, for whatever reason, it is going up and it's up about a dollar. And of course, we're still long. Bonds and notes are getting clobbered, okay, which is unusual. It is. It is, does not make sense at this point in time based on, uh, what what we would expect because we know that interest rates are going lower or staying lower, but there's an interesting little act or divergence going on right now between the future and the actual interest rate. But we'll see. It should work out. We are still long bonds and notes, although they are getting clobbered. Uh, and uh, net gas is a little bit lower. Copper is back in its merry ways of running up again. And, you know, like I said, you expected the pullback and we expect the rally. Okay, and that is, it's really about expectations, but it's based on the trend and understanding how the technical aspects of all markets work. And of course, the grain markets, my goodness gracious, wasn't it just a couple of days ago the whole world was worried about the end of the world? We kept saying that all we are is going to support, and geez louise, there you go, supporting corn, supporting wheat, supporting soybeans, and bang zoom, corn up a nickel. Beans and wheat, both of them about 15 cents. Well, we're long all three, so that's that's a good thing. Okay. Meats are slightly higher, but flattish. Okay. Yeah, there's no big move there. But they are, again, I think they're making the same setup and the same pattern we saw in uh, the grains about six weeks ago. And I would expect that same kind of explosion going forward. And, of course, we're long across the board there, too. So we're long agriculture. We're long a lot of everything. But in, in the meantime, it all looks good. The softs, uh, cotton is, a, a, is much higher. OJ is lower. Uh, we are long cotton, short OJ. Coffee is higher. We're long. The sugar and cocoa are both higher, and we are short both of those. So, again, you can see, but this is illiquidity. This is a market that doesn't really, that really isn't following anything at the moment. But this is this time of the year, last two weeks of the year, about six trading days left in 2020. And thank God it'll be over soon. So maybe we can move on to some more positive things. But overall, it's, 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 things are looking the way they should, and we're very happy with it. In the meantime, don't forget about our other brokerage partner. And again, I do have other brokerage accounts, but that is Trade Your Brokerage. Uh, a, they've got great pricing, $10 a month. You cannot beat that. B, they've got great customer service. They've got good people. C, we are automating. January 1, we go 100% automation. And for my hedging members, we're doing a webinar on Saturday to share the new features and watch total automation. And of course, um, you know, Trade Year is going to offer a options training course to those people that I talk to. And that is going to be starting on June, June, January the 9th. 
which is a Saturday, I will be doing a six, uh, six sessions, six weeks of training on options from the very beginning to the more complex strategies brought to you by Tradio. So, and of course, don't forget about our partners with Family Farms. You know, this has been the perfect timing. We've been working with the farmers, educating them, having them hedged. And now they're hedged where they never grew up the upside. What could be wrong with that? Protect the downside and let the upside play? Not bad. Uh, our commodity report written by Andy Heck. There, there is no better report if you're a commodities person in the world. Between the technical analysis and the fundamental analysis, you can't beat it. Check it out. If you'd like to catch a, a, a one, you know, I'm going to offer this at the end of this week. If you'd like to see an old issue, I will send it to you. You can see what he talks about, what he writes about. But certainly email me at bubba at bubbatrain.com. And don't forget about our high school program as we're trying to get it up and running. And, of course, you know that Bubba Trading uh, eats 90% of the expense. We have got some help from Patreon over the last six or seven months or a year. But if you want to help us out, it's at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com, forward slash Bubba Trading. It's Patreon dot com, forward slash Bubba Trading. In the meantime, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow with the last update before Christmas. It's a half a day tomorrow. But in the meantime, have a great day. Be careful, be safe, and be patient. Bubba's day update. We'll see you tomorrow.